what is wave number relationship of wave number and wavelength firstly let me teach you about one cycle or one wave for example consider this wave motion and time we know that crest is the highest surface part of a wave for instance this upper part is the crest and this upper part is also the crest while trough is the lowest surface part of a wave for instance this lower part is the trough and this lower part is also the trough now listen carefully one crest and one trough form one wave or one cycle let me repeat it one crest and one trough form one wave or one cycle so this crest and this trough form one wave or one cycle also this crest and this trough form another wave so there are total two waves present in this wave motion and time hence note it down that one crest and one trough form one wave or one cycle now let me teach you that what is a wavelength well the distance between two consecutive crests is called wavelength or the distance between two consecutive troughs is called wavelength personally i say that the length of a wave is called wavelength remember that wavelength is represented by greek letter lambda its si unit is meter for example consider this wave motion and time now the distance between this crest and this crest is wavelength lambda similarly the distance between this trough and this trough is wavelength lambda also the distance between this crest and this trough is wavelength lambda thus note it down that wavelength lambda is the distance of any wave now let me teach you that what is a wave number well wave number is the number of waves present in a unit length like 1 cm or 1 meter in chemistry wave number is denoted by v while in physics it is denoted by k or sometimes we use n its s a unit is per cm or per meter for example consider wave motion in 1 cm length now wave number shows that how many waves are present in this 1 cm length let me repeat this important point wave number shows that how many waves are present in this 1 cm length this is one wave this is second wave this is third wave and this is fourth wave so there are four waves present in 1 cm length so its wave number is equal to four waves per cm thus note it down that wave number is the number of waves present in 1 cm length now what is the relationship between wave number and wave length well i will teach you this relationship both in chemistry and in physics in chemistry we say that wave number is equal to the reciprocal of wave length lambda while in physics we say that wave number is equal to 2 pi upon wave length lambda so this is the formula of wave number in chemistry and this is the formula of wave number in physics using these formulae we can easily calculate any numerical in chemistry or in physics i hope that you have learned all about the wave number and wave length